right, Clint, I've got your new bow out in the field. Switching to explosive arrows. Very good. Very good. Going to fire arrows next. Ooh, that's hot. Ice arrows now. Hey, take a chill pill. All right, next to test is the grapple arrow. I know it's hard to keep up with gods and billionaires. This should help. And now we're gonna test out the lightning arrow. Thank Thor for the Asgardian technology. Nice. Then of course, you still have a bow strong enough to take down a bantha. Watch until the end and you too can have Hawkeye's bow. First, I'm gonna take us through and look at these arrows one at a time. We're gonna create the abilities for each of them. And then we'll create a scoreboard that allows us to switch between the arrows. Okay, so this is the explosive arrow build, the first one we're going to do. Uh, you'll notice that I have a red square. All of these have them. You're gonna wanna mark down the coordinates for each of these. In order to turn these on, we're gonna spawn in a redstone block there, which will activate everything around it. And uh, when you switch between the arrows, it'll actually, let me show you, it'll spawn in a redstone block and then erase it and spawn it in at the next one and that's how you will activate different types of arrows. So the first part of the explosive arrow is a repeating command block that needs redstone and that's just going to be slash test four at E type equals arrow. Now we have two command blocks that are coming out on comparators. The first one right here it's got a 25 delay and ticks and that is slash kill at E type equals arrow. The next one over here has 20 delay and ticks, and that's gonna be slash execute at, at E, type equals arrow, run, summon TNT minecart, tilde tilde point five tilde, minecrafts colon on instant prime. So what this is gonna do is after a delay of about one second, it's gonna spawn in that minecart at where the arrow is, and then it's going to kill the arrow shortly after if the minecart doesn't do it already. And then the last block you see here, which will also get powered when we spawn in that redstone block, is the title command. It's slash title at A, has item equals item equals bow. So anyone who has a bow, the title will pop up at the action bar and it'll say explosive arrow. That's right there above the hot bar. When I switch between them, you'll notice that it Explosive arrow, fire arrow, ice arrow, grapple arrow, lightning arrow, hypersonic. That's the command right there that's going to display that title for you to let you know what you're using. All right, moving on to the fire arrow. We have a repeating command block in the middle and that is the same thing, slash test for at E type equals arrow. And then coming out, we have two comparators. The first one leads into a command block here and that's gonna be a delay of 25 ticks that's slash kill at E type equals arrow. And then the other one goes to a command block. It's got a delay of 20 ticks. And that's gonna be slash execute at, at E type equals arrow run fill till the negative one, till the negative one, till the negative one, till the one, till the two, till the one, fire zero replace air. And this is going to spawn fire in all around where the arrow is. So just like with the first one, you shoot the arrow, then after about a second, it's going to start spawning that fire in around it, and then shortly afterward, it's going to erase the arrow. And then of course, back here on the other side, this is the title command. Title slash at A has item equals item equals bow. Action bar fire arrow, so that's going to let you know it's the fire arrow. Moving on over here, we have the ice arrow, which is a little bit bigger than the other ones, but it's really not any more complicated. So the first command block here in the middle is repeating, and that's going to be slash test for at E type equals arrow. And now we have three different comparators coming off. The first one is going into an impulse command block, slash kill at E type equals arrow. And again, that's going to be set for a 25 delay in ticks. Next we have an impulse command block. It's got a 20 delay in ticks, and that's going to be slash execute at, at E type equals arrow. 
run fill, and this is gonna look very familiar because this is almost the exact same command as last time. Tilde negative one, tilde negative two, tilde negative one, tilde one, tilde two, tilde one, ice zero, replace air. So this time, instead of bringing in a whole bunch of fire around the arrow, we're gonna bring in a whole bunch of ice, as you can see when we froze that pillager. And then we have another comparator running off into an impulse command block. This one has a 20 tick delay as well. And that is going to be execute at E type equals arrow run fill. And you'll see this is the exact same command except for this one. We're replacing water. And then this one here, we're replacing air. So we're not going to break any other blocks. It's not going to break any stone or metal or anything like that. It's just going to replace air blocks and water blocks. And then of course we have our title command here. And that's going to put ice arrow right on your action bar. You'll see a lot of these command blocks are really similar from arrow to arrow, and that's good. We want things that are repetitive and that they work. So now we have the grapple arrow. Again, this one is like the uh, first couple. It's only three command blocks as opposed to four. But that first block, again repeating, is execute at E, type equals arrow. So instead of just a test four, we're actually doing an execute command here. And it's going to run TP at P which is going to be the closest player, but you'll see that it has to be a player that has a bow in their main hand. So the closest player with a bow in their main hands to the arrow is going to get teleported every game tick two blocks behind it. That's what carrot, 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 minus two is at the end there. So then we got two comparators. First one here, that kill command slash kill at E type equals arrow. And again, a delay of 25 ticks. And this one up here, is a delay of zero ticks that's going to be slash execute at at e type equals arrow and then it's going to run the effect at the closest player which is going to be you and it's going to give you slow falling at level two for five seconds if you shoot yourself up into the air let me show you it'll actually give you feather falling here slow falling for a second so that you can pick where you want to shoot next which more or less lets you fly which I think is really cool. And then on the other side of that red block, this is our title command. And that one's gonna put grapple arrow on the action bar. And now we're, we're onto our last arrow. This is the lightning arrow. In the middle here, we have a repeating command block. And again, we're just back to that test for command. Now we have two comparators coming out. One is going to an impulse command block gonna have a tick delay of 25 and that's slash kill at E type equals arrow and then over here we have a repeating command block that needs redstone it's got a tick delay of 10 and that's gonna be slash execute at at E type equals arrow and then it's gonna run at that position where the arrow is execute at any entity that's a mob within a range of seven and it can count up to two at a time it's gonna summon a lightning bolt on them so as you saw earlier they only need to be near uh, the lightning bolt. I think that pillager's still inside that ice over there. There we go. Alright, so this one over here is the hypersonic arrow, which is going to be just your standard arrow when there is no effects hooked up. And you'll see it is a repeating command block. And it's actually looking for a scoreboard command. So we're about to get into that scoreboard. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create a scoreboard. So we're going to do slash scoreboard. And then you're going to type in objectives. Add. And then I'm going to type in arrow. Dummy. And then arrow again. I'm going to capitalize this arrow. You don't really have to. Now it's going to pop up and say that I already have one with that name. Um, but when you do it, it's going to say it created a new scoreboard. So if you notice, these comparators are powered. That's because the scoreboard is actually set to zero right now. And how we check for that is slash scoreboard players test at a arrow zero zero. For, so it's looking for the score for that scoreboard called arrow that we made. And it's checking to see if it's between zero and zero. Right now it is, and it's powering both these comparators. This one here is a fill command and you're gonna see this here a bunch of times coming up so you might want to just write this down at slash fill 
and then you're actually going to want to change the coordinates to yours, but let me show you what's going on. That fill command is two sets of coordinates. The first one is right here, which is where the lightning redstone block goes. And then the second coordinate is this one up here. So as soon as I run that, it gets rid of any of those redstone blocks that are here. It just erases all of them. And then from there, I can spawn in a redstone block where I want it. So this here is clearing that, getting rid of that, making sure none of those powers are active. And then this command block here is the title command that's going to say hypersonic arrow on your action bar. So now you know how to get rid of the redstone blocks. Now I'm going to teach you how to switch between them. So these are all the powers over here. All of these are just used to see where the score is and then spawn in that redstone block and get rid of the redstone blocks that were already there. So first, we have the explosive arrow. It's a repeating command block. This one is always active and you're gonna see that it's looking for scoreboard players test at a arrow one one. So like the other one was looking between zero and zero, this one is looking between one and one. So when I throw the snowball, you'll see that these now become active because I have set the score to one. We haven't added the function in yet where we increase the score, but I really want you to understand how this is going to work. So now that score is one, this is powering two comparators. The first one goes into this command block here. You're gonna see we have a Delantix of two, and that's gonna set a redstone block at a specific coordinate. And that coordinate is right here. So when that game score is one, it spawns in this redstone block right here. Now this command block here is that exact same fill command I told you earlier with the air that erases all of the redstone blocks. If I scroll down, you'll see this one does not have a delay. So as soon as the scoreboard equals one, it erases all of the redstone blocks right here. And then after a two tick delay, it summons us in, which is almost instantly. It's so quick, you don't even really pick it up with your eye because it's about one tenth of a second. So now we're over here. This is going to be the fire arrow detection. Again, repeating, always active. And then we're doing that scoreboard test command. This time we're looking for two and two. Now again, this top command block here is gonna be that fill command that erases all the redstone blocks and there is no delay on that. And then off to the side here, we have a set block command to set a redstone block with a small delay of two ticks. And that's gonna be this position right here which powers the fire arrow. Now we're over here to the ice arrow and it's gonna be very similar. It's looking for the scoreboard test to be between three and three. So as soon as I switch that over to three, you'll see those power. And you'll see that again, it filled all those with that first command block here, it's that fill command with air, no delay. And then it spawned in the redstone block with a small delay of two ticks. And that is right here to power the ice arrow. Now we have the grapple arrow. And that is repeating always active. And that's the scoreboard looking for four. You'll see down here right now it's telling you score three is not in range of four. So I'm going to throw the snowball, which increases it. And now score four is in range of four. It powers these two command blocks. Again, we're using that exact same fill commands to replace all the redstone blocks with air. No delay. And then this one here, we are setting the redstone block with a small delay, two ticks, right here at the position that powers the grapple arrow. And now we're onto the lightning arrow, which again, it's gonna be the exact same thing. This time we're testing between five and five. So as soon as I switch that, it now powers these two command blocks. The first one is replacing all the redstone blocks with air, no delay. Second one over here, is with a delay of two, is adding that redstone block right here to power the lightning arrow. So I already showed you the hypersonic arrow portion that does everything. Uh, now I'm going to show you a couple other things. So the first is if I keep raising my score up, it should eventually get out of this range. So how do I get it to reset again? So this command block over here 
is repeating always active, and that is checking for that scoreboard to be between 6 and 8, which is above the range we're looking for for our powers. So as soon as it is, this command block is going to power this chain, that's set the chain conditional always active, and you'll see that we're actually going to set that scoreboard to 0. So as soon as it gets above 5, it gets reset to 0, which allows it to cycle. Now this one here is how we check for the snowball and actually raise the score. So the first one is repeating always active, and you'll see it's just a slash test for at E type equals snowball. Then we have a comparator powering this impulse command block, and that has the command here that is slash scoreboard players add at A arrow 1. So every time it detects a snowball, it adds 1 to that score. We use that scoreboard, adding one every time to change between the arrows, and we're just using fill commands to get rid of the redstone blocks. And then using another set block command afterward to put a redstone block at the command blocks that we want. You can use this method to change between anything that you want. Lastly, I want to take a look at the bow and the gear. So, the bow, Hawkeye's bow, if we take a look you'll see it's got unbreaking 3, power 5, punch 2, and mending. So with Unbreaking and Mending, it shouldn't really ever break on you, the experience you gain will heal it, and it's much more resistant to taking damage. With that Power 5, you're going to deal incredible damage, and the punch actually makes your enemies that you hit fly backwards like 10 feet when you hit them with it. If you want to look like the classic Hawkeye, get yourself some Netherite Pants, and then enchant some Netherite Boots, Chestplate and Helmet, that way you have that purple and black look that really brings that Hawkeye look to life. If you like this video, then take a look at this where I have three command block hacks, one of which is an anti-gravity bow. This is Browncoat67, I'll catch you next time.